Hello and welcome to Infinity. In our series on the colour selection micros which are free and you can find with the link down below, we're now going to look at the 3M colour selection. So the question is what is 3M? So let's look at that first. And we'll just take a rectangle tool here and we'll draw a rectangle up here so we can see next to the sliders here how the colour changes with it. So if, for example, I've got some red down here, green up here, and some blue someone in here, what we got is a greenish colour, and that's because the green is the highest colour, it's the maximum. Red is turned right down, so that's having the minimum effect, and the blue is in the middle. If I bring up the red, which is the minimum, what's going to happen is going to, it's going to get paler. So the brightness is carried on up here, but the gap between the minimum and the maximum, that's going to determine how grey or colourful it is. So this you can think of the minimum as a bit of a colourful thing. The middle one, if you turn that up, you put emphasis on that, you're going to get more of a secondary colour. And if you pull that down, you're going to get more of a primary colour. And so you can play around with these, but this is the idea of how they work. So let's get rid of that and try stuff with it. Where is it? Delete. There we go. So now we're going to go to the macro, 3M colour selection. And here we're going to turn off the bottom layer so we can see what's selecting. And now if we increase these, you're going to get more of the maximum. And if you get down here, you're going to get less of it. So you're selecting this here. So if I turn up the maximum here, then you can see you've got a lot of the dominant colours being selected here. And you, know, you can probably pull down this here and say take the minimum colour, because this is in the background here. We can see where this is getting rid of the background. And the middle colour, what's that going to do? That's going to do that more as well, but it's going to take away some of this front here. So I'll just do that a little bit. But you can see the effect there of how you're selecting, and it's, you literally have to play. The offset, if you turn the offset up, it'll kind of make that stronger, but it'll also bring back some of these here. If you turn it down, then it goes back. And strength also has a, a something similar effect in that if you turn this up, just roll the mouse wheel over it, but that makes it more constrained there. So you can play around with that, see how the effect is. But now what you can do is put some controls over it. So if I go to here and get HSL, and I'll drag that in so it's the vertical blue bar, so it's above here, and see what happens. When I turn this up, I'm going to make those dominant colours more dominant. If I turn it down, I'm going to turn them down. So if we turn the bottom layer on, you can see that turning that saturation up here, it makes the the dominant colours more dominant, but it doesn't affect anything else. But also turning it down, it mutes the dominant colours, which meets, makes the whole picture more muted. And you can also do things like the luminosity here, pull this up, and that is washing the picture more and turning it down is making the whole thing darker so you're getting that effect. Okay let's just go back to this for a moment and so say let's try something else in which we're going to double click them to get back to the beginning. If I turn up the middle colour, let's turn off the bottom as well so we can see what's happening, then we're getting a number of the things here, but you can see the prom the, the colourful bits are coming through here. So if I turn down the maximum, that starts to take those out, but we're losing everything here. What if I bring up the minimum? Yeah, that brings more here, but if I turn down the maximum then, there we go, we're losing a lot of the, the dominant colours, but we've got a lot of this background stuff coming in here. We can play around with the offset, that will strengthen that a little bit. And then let's see what happens if we put in an HSL here. 
drag it down so it's get the vertical blue bar there. And now if we play around with that, if I turn up the saturation, you can see it's basically it's saturating. It's more of the background, but not the dominant colour. Or I can take that back. So if I've got the background on, now if I turn up the saturation, it's basically giving saturation to the whole picture. And if I turn it down, it's making that background recede more. Or if I can use the luminosity, if I turn that light out, effectively you're burning out a lot of the picture, the background, but you're keeping those dominant colours because you turned the maximum slider down, so it's not having an effect with that. And you can darken it, eh, not so useful effect that way. So you can see there are a number of different things you can do with this, but it is a certain amount of playing with it. But you can get very useful effects you can't get easily with other controls. That's it, and thank you very much for watching.